Alexi Lafreniere was drafted with the first overall pick in the first round of the 2020 draft by the New York Rangers. Lafreniere is a 19-year-old left winger from St. Eustache, Quebec, and is 6 foot 1, 192 pounds. Alexi had a nearly perfect year for a prospect heading into the draft, putting up 112 points in 52 games for the Ramuski Oceanic of the QMJHL and dominating at the World Juniors Tournament, putting up 10 points in just five games en route to a Team Canada gold medal. However, Lafreniere has had a tough start to his NHL career, which is one goal and zero assists in his first 13 games for New York. As of February 15th, there are currently 15 players on the Rangers with more points than Lafreniere, including four defensemen. And there are also currently 42 rookies in the NHL with more points than the Rangers winger. Many people, including myself, had Lafreniere as one of the favorites to win the Calder Trophy for Rookie of the Year. I even predicted him to win it this year in my season preview video for 2021. And why not? He was the number one overall pick in 2020, going to a team loaded with offensive talent with guys like Artemi Panarin, Mika Zibanejad, Chris Kreider, Pavel Buchnevich, and even Capo Kako, who is the 2019 second overall pick. But it's not only been Lafreniere who has struggled offensively. Mika Zibanejad, who had 41 goals and 75 points last year in 57 games played, has just three points in his first 13 games. Chris Kreider has just four points in 13 games, and Kako has three points in 12 games. The only Rangers forwards who are really living up to their potential in terms of offense are Panarin, who has 15 points in 12 games, and Buchnevich, with 8 points in 13 games played. The Rangers have gone from being one of the highest scoring teams in the league last year to one of the worst so far this season, with just 31 goals for in 13 games, which is 27th in the NHL, leading up to a 4-6-3 record. 6th place in the division points-wise, but dead last in terms of points percentage. Now this is the second straight year we've seen the first overall pick struggle in his rookie season, but even Jack Hughes had 7 points in his first 13 games last season. He'd end up with just 21 in 61 games played, but you get the point. So why is Lafreniere struggling so much when most people thought he was certainly NHL ready? Well, I think a huge part of it boils down to the poor start that the Rangers have had, and maybe we were just a little ahead of ourselves on the hype for the New York Rangers' this season. Last year, there were very little expectations on the Rangers to do well, and like we've seen many teams do before, they thrived in that underdog role, catching fire at times throughout the season, and eventually fighting into a play-in round playoff spot as the number 11 seed in the Eastern Conference and were granted a five-game series with the Carolina Hurricanes. This year has been a much different story, as lots of hype and excitement was put on the Rangers, and they were supposed to continue to build on their great run last season with their great young tandem of goalies and the high-flying offense, and getting the first overall pick in Lafreniere was going to help out a ton. But, unfortunately, it hasn't gone that way so far this season. There have been quite a few players underperforming. The defense is very young and inexperienced. And they are in probably the toughest division in hockey, where no game is won easy. At the beginning of the season, I would have predicted Lafreniere to get around 40 to 45 points in this 56 game season to potentially challenge for the Calder. There's still a chance he can go on a streak and pile up some points and get his name back in that conversation but we're already about a quarter of the way into the season. Lafreniere has averaged 14 minutes and 28 seconds of ice time per game, has registered just 20 shots on net in 13 games, and has a Corsi 4 percentage of 45.8%. He's currently playing on the second line with Ryan Strom and Capo Caco, and has gotten a little bit of time on the second power play unit for the Rangers. I think a huge part of this is just a confidence issue and adjusting to the NHL game. I think Lafreniere will get better as the season goes along, 
as he gets more ice time, starts shooting the puck more and getting more chances, but it will also help out a lot if his Rangers counterparts can start producing more. Zabinijad, Kreider, and Kako are all capable of more, and Lafreniere certainly is too. The Rangers are going to be hard-pressed to make the playoffs this year, and Lafreniere may struggle to get 20 to 25 points. But I still think that New York is headed in the right direction, and Alexi is going to be a big part of their future. Let me know down in the comments what you think is going on with Lafreniere and the Rangers, and please hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed and would like to see more. Thanks so much for watching.